Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Comic Corner, episode three. Here at Ty Robert, this is Dom, and this is a weekly show, guys, that we have where we talk about comic books, manga, comic books, and just indulge in them and just tell you guys what we think about what we're reading. Now, if this is your first time watching. Make sure you guys comment down below and tell us what you guys think of the show, what we can do to improve, and give us y'all's recommendations, guys. Absolutely. Push that thumbs up button if you haven't. Subscribe and share with your friends as well. But let's get down to it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is our second take. I totally forgot to record <laughs> the Two. first time. So we're gonna we're, we're doing this again. Dom, what have you been reading, Dom? I've been reading a lot of stuff. Uh, Tokyo Ghost, East of West, uh, Black Hammer, uh, Miss America. Luke Cage, and let's see, what else have I... Alex and Ada, a lot of Image Comics lately. Uh, I've been really digging those, getting into them, uh, especially East of West. That's a whole other video we're going to talk about. But Yes, East of West we'll be talking about next week. Now, we have... Uh, what we ha we're going to do our comic of book of the month. Mm -hmm. As of right now, what it looks like it's going to be is East of West. So we're going to... The entire show is just going to be about that series and what we think of the series. So, so what have you been reading? Uh, so yeah, I've been I was, pretty busy, but like, what what have you gotten to? Yeah, man. So I've been uh, wanting to read this comic book called Snot Girl, mm -hmm. the creator of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Um, tried it out. It was uh, it was alright. Now I've been actually in the past couple of episodes I've been reading comics and I've been enjoying every single comic that I've been reading. This is the first one that I was kind of like, oh. This is not really that fun. What is it about, though? Like, so, what, what did it like? What caused it to not catch your interest? Because I think I've figured out the entire story already without even having to finish it. No kidding. And I'm already no longer interested in it. And I could be wrong. I'm going to, spoilers, I'm going to talk about it. And you guys let me down, know in the comments if I'm wrong. But the comic starts off, and you are uh, following this girl who is a blogger. She has her own fashion uh, website. And so. She is into that kind of stuff. She's with a group of friends. And, you know, th that's the th things that they do. But mm -hmm. there's a moment where uh, she has allergies. So she has she has snot and all that kind of stuff. You know? So, she's, yeah. she, so that's just, like, one thing about her that totally contradicts her beauty and, beauty and everything in the, in the story. She's just got, like, a like kind of like a Rick and Morty kind of thing. Like a Rick, like, where he's just got the drool on his face. Right. Like she just has a continuous snot bubble hanging right. out. But that's, if, that's when, like, her allergies work up. Or when oh, she starts okay. crying, she just looks ugly when she cries. That's the thing. Um, but she's gorgeous when she's just by, like just doing her own thing. So she's hanging out with these group of friends. Uh, she wants new friends. Mm -hmm. So she meets this one girl, and she gives all her friends code names. One of them is cute girl. One of them is normal girl. And so she met this one girl. And I forgot her name. It was something like gorgeous girl or something like that. I forgot what it was. Because this girl was like on her level. Mm -hmm. She's like, I can be totally best friends with this girl. And so there's a moment where she goes, they go out to a bar, they're, uh, they're drinking, she sees a guy uh, that used to be her boyfriend, and then the guy that's, the girl that's with him uh, used to be her intern for her blog, mm -hmm. and so the girl who was the intern for the blog wears her clothes, and so it's like this weird dynamic between the two, and so she gets upset, she runs to the restroom, and she just got like this new prescription because of her allergy, so she just got this brand new prescription that's that they're experimenting on to see if it works. So she goes, she's trying to get some, and some of them fall on the floor, and she's, she takes one. And then her friend that, you know, that she thought was super cool, walks in, and she's talking to her. She slips on the pill, and, like, her head cracks open, and she dies. What? And, yeah. And so you're like... What? <laughs> That's savage. And so you're like, oh what's going gosh. on? And so, you know, but it's like, she really doesn't even, like... Uh, like, that moment of her realizing that happened is literally just a couple of panels, and then it's done. She's going back with the regular life. And then she figures out that her friend's still alive. And then... Well, hold on a second. So, I've already got this... I feel like I've got this comic figured out. What I think is happening is that this new experimental drug that's for her allergies is causing her to hallucinate, so she thinks things are going on, but they're not going on. And it's just a story about her life as a fashion blogger and her interactions with other people who are in the fashion industry as well. And that's it. And I don't, I don't find it interesting at all. And I just, it really, I just literally got, I didn't like it anymore. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I would have been done with it too. Yeah, but, but that's it. I mean, I, I wanted to jump into some JoJo and some uh, Steven Universe comics, but that didn't happen due to, uh, Microsoft took it over my life 20 hours in already. So, Jeez, Louise. but yeah, anyways, there's that. 20 hours in. Yeah, dude, it's that's really good. Insane. That's for a different, that's a different topic for another time.